My name is Lily. I am the founder of Lily Samuels Nutrition. Um, Lily Samuels Nutrition is a, is a consultancy, nutrition consultancy, where our main focus is on corporate nutrition and sports nutrition. So we offer one-to-one um, -one nutritional support. We also offer workshops and also uh, we do group works. What inspired me to start my own business mainly was um, more personal reasons, really. I used to be employed um, I used to, to work long hours and I'm, I'm a single mom and those you know had to be running around with childcare and having to be away from my daughter for so long and 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 I wasn't even happy at my work and so eventually it didn't make sense why am I doing all that while at the, at the same time I'm unhappy so I decided that I'm going to go back and retrain and become my own boss so it was really for myself and for my daughter. The support I had when I started my business was, um, first of all, one of my friends who we used to work together. And so she, we used to talk about how frustrated we were in our, in our previous job. And so she started the business before when I was still at university retraining. So when I finished and she was just there because she had already done that and was, was amazing to have her on my side. Uh, my family really just offered moral support and, and days where just didn't know whether I'm coming or going. But uh, also in Coventry, uh, we've got Coventry and Warwickshire um, Chamber of Commerce that really support startups. They offer um, free workshops of all business related workshops. So I um, enrolled in those workshops and it was, uh, it was such a valuable time spent. So yeah, I'm glad um, I did that. The impact my business has on the community, I, I think is huge. Um, we help um, people to really have the knowledge, make informed choices about their health. Because nutrition is really powerful for health. If we, we know how to eat well, how to take care of bodies better, we can really become um, better human beings. So, and my, my community of business communities, and I think we, it's, the impact is I do collaborate with other businesses, personal trainers, with physiotherapists, with yoga, yoga instructors. And so together, working together, we make a difference in people's lives. I had many challenges studying my business. Um, first of all, is really like a personal challenge. Where do I believe in myself? Can I do it? Um, you know, is there a need for another nutritionist there? So that um, I had to dig deeper and ask myself why am I even want, wanting to start this business and but before that I've been you know I've been priming myself so to speak that I want to do this and I had to find why I want to do it and like I mentioned before that my daughter was one of the reasons and for that I had to to start the business and and secondly, the other thing is funding. You, you actually think, well, I'm going to be my, my own boss. I'm going to have flex. But really, you need a lot of money to, to start a business. And so I used most of my personal um, savings to start my business. And I, I tried to apply for grants where they were um, available. Sometimes you don't get them. But I still keep, I still keep going and, and I, um, I, I couldn't stop. The third thing is I had no business skills. I just, just a professional who have got a degree in nutrition, but I, I didn't know how to run a business at all. So, like I mentioned, um, the Chamber of Commerce did give me sort of a foundation of how to start a business, but really I had to invest on myself personally and I did sign up on courses on how to, branding, marketing, and so that I also had to use my own money. So it's been a journey and it's still a journey, and, um, but I wouldn't change it for anything. The advice I'll give to um, any migrant um, female who wants to start a business is go for it. Do not doubt yourself. Um, just go for it and you, you will figure out as you go along. You figure out. Because if you sit down and list all the things that you do not have or you can't do this, you will never start. Just start and then once you're there, somehow you find ways. So don't hold yourself back. Go for it. The most um, important quality that I have as, a, as a, a female migrant entrepreneur is resilient. I, I, I think I'm very resilient. I think mainly it comes also from my personal life. I, um, 
and I came to England on my own. I didn't have any friends or family in England. And that, when I look back, it's sort of helped me to just know I can do it. I, I, when I come across challenges, I, I, I look back, at the, I, I look at my strength and like, yeah, if, if anybody, others have done it, so I can do it. So I'm so resilient. I, I, I don't think there's anything that can stop me from achieving what I want to achieve in my business. So yeah, that's, that's me. Thank you.